What's going on out there, guys? It's your boy Tommy on the spot for Watch Along Wrestling. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Kicking it old school, guys. The drive cam, and you know that can only mean one thing. WWE Hall of Fame time. New inductees. Every time there's an inductee, I rock to run out to my car and give you guys my immediate thoughts on this, my immediate reacts. And so I'm really excited about this. See, I'm still in my shirt and tie. WWE has started to unload the inductees for the WWE 2021 Hall of Fame class. For those who don't know the Hall of Fame, earlier today on WWE's The Bump was announced as returning and will be doing so in addition to the class of 2020, which will consist of Dave Batista, the NWO, the version which uh, includes Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Sean Waltman, uh, the Bella Twins, JBL, Jushin Thunder Liger, and the late great British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. So the new class started off with the first inductee who was announced on the WWE Network's The Bump today, and that was Molly Holly. That's right, the former Mighty Molly will be taking her rightful place in WWE's Hall of Fame. Obviously, Molly is somebody who's really inspired uh, this generation of talent. If you remember when Beth Phoenix got inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame back in 2017, she was quick to really credit Molly with really her getting her entire start in there, covering her entire expenses to wrestling school and really uh, because she believed in her. I've always been a fan of Molly. I think Molly is one of those unsung heroes. I talked about Jazz during my Royal Rumble 2002 review and kind of how she was one of those folks who was really instrumental in bringing the WWE Divas from the WWE Divas to women's wrestling in the early 2000s. I think Molly was right there with her. And who could ever forget Molly going and volunteering to get her head shaved at WrestleMania so just so that she'd have a spot on the card and an unforgettable moment. So I think Molly Holly's great. I've really enjoyed her time with the, with the Holly Cousins where she first came in with Crash and, and Hardcore Holly. I think she added a good element to them. Loved her little romance with Spike Dudley, her partnership with the Hurricane. And we're coming up here on my channel currently of looking back at WrestleMania 18 in just a week or two where Molly Holly, uh, for a short time, was actually the Hardcore Champion. So always love Molly Holly. She's been a part of a couple of different WWE Royal Rumbles uh, for the Women's Revolution, and I think she was on a, made an appearance uh, on a couple of these Legend Nights. So always great to see Molly uh, get her recognition that she deserves, and uh, it'll be nice to see her take her rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame coming up on April 6th. And uh, let me know in the comment section who else you'd like to see inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame this year. I'm excited to see who it is. Uh, I can tell you it's probably not Christian, but... Uh, it'll be interesting to see who WWE does induct along with a large list of inductees already set to go in for the 2020 class. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, glad to see the Hall of Fame coming back as a part of WrestleMania 37 week. If it's your first time visiting the channel, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Watch Long Wrestling. I'll see you guys in the next video.